हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ द लेसन वेटिंग फॉर द रेन सो लेट्स सी थिंक एंड आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट डज द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ द टेक्स्ट इंडिकेट टू इट्स रीडर्स नो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस आई होप इट रेन्स एट लीस्ट टू डे दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस सो वॉट डज दिस सेंटेंस इंडिकेट टू इट्स रीडर्स द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इंडिकेट्स दैट द एरिया हैड नॉट रिसीव रेनफॉल and it was almost to suffer a severe drought the area was supposed to suffer drought so that will be the answer i hope it rains at least today makes it clear to the readers that the area had not received rainfall in quite a while and it was almost on the brink of a severe drought next question his piece of land never failed him explain the meaning of this sentence now here what is the meaning of this sentence his piece of land never failed him it means uh, his field had given him the crops uh, it had yielded the crops and uh, the field has helped uh, value to earn his livelihood so the second answer is his piece of land always reaped crops and helped value earn his living as a farmer thus it never failed him let's see question number 3 throughout the year he worked never thinking of rest or taking a holiday what does this tell us about the protagonist now what do you mean by protagonist protagonist means the main character of the story or a play now here who is the main character value so what does this lesson tell you about value so it tells that he was a very hard working and dedicated farmer uh he wanted to work as much as possible and so that he could earn his livelihood and able to feed his family so let's see the answer this tells us that the protagonist was a very dedicated and hard working farmer who wanted to work as much as he could so that he could earn a good living and support his family let's see question number 4 quote the lines from the text which show that the drought lasted for a long time now which lines in the lesson shows that the drought lasted for a long time so the lines uh, which tells that there was a drought drought or the drought lasted for long time are days weeks and months passed and still there was no rain then the fields lay unattended the earth hardened crusted and cracked so these are the lines which tell us that the drought lasted for a long time Now let's see question number five. And the farmers lived entirely on hope. Clarify what living on hope means. How were the farmers living on hope? Now you have learnt in the lesson that the farmer entirely lived on the hope. What was their hope that it will rain soon? So what do you mean by living on hope? And how were these farmers living on hope? so the farmers held on only because of their hope that it would rain some day soon and they would be able to till their lands 
See, because it was not possible for the farmers to till the land without rains, isn't it? So they had a faith in the God. Their faith in God and belief in hope kept them going even though the times were very tough. Question number six. What opinion does the writer have about the meteorological department? How do you deduce that? Deduce means conclude. How you came to that conclusion? Now, what opinion does the writer have about the meteorological department? See, when uh, well, you went there to inquire, the department did not have any answer as to why it and uh, why it did not rain or when it will rain. So, meteorological department did not have any answer. So, what do you think? What is the opinion of the writer? So, here the author tries to put forward the opinion that the meteorological department is not as brilliant as it should be. Now, it is not brilliant. Why? Because it, the department was not able to answer values question. This is because even the people at the department had no explanation as to why there was no rainfall. This can be deduced from the baffled reaction of the people at the meteorological department. Next, question number seven. What was the view of the old lady regarding rains and Mother Earth? How is it different from conventional view? So it is rains, not trains, by mistake. Spelling is wrong. So what was the view of old lady regarding rains and Mother Earth? Now she said that earth also needs some rest, right? Because it worked for thousands of years without resting. And the old lady also said that the mother earth cared for all its children. So how is it different from conventional view? So her view, how her view is different from conventional view? Uh, because this is a contrast to the conventional views that no rains means drought. Now, see, when there are no rains, uh, there is a drought everywhere. This is the actual fact. But her opinion was what? That if there is no rain, it means uh, the land gets rest, isn't it? So, this is totally opposite. The old lady claimed that even the earth needed rest at times. It worked for thousands of years in a go. Mother nature cared for all her children. That is in stark contrast to the conventional view that no rains means drought. Here also rains by mistake is not there. Rain. So do the correction while writing. Okay. Next question number 8. What impression do you form about old lady? Now, what do you think? What is your impression about the old lady? She is very experienced lady. Then she is also sensible. She believes uh, that mother nature cares for or children. So these things shows her experience, right? So let's see the answer. The lady is found to be a very sensible and experienced lady who is worldly wise. Apart from this, she is a firm believer of mother nature and seems to have a very unconventional and unheard of explanation for the drought which showcases her experience. Next question number 9. Without the rains, there is nothing to smile about. What does this quote from the text tell us about our dependence on rains? Now, as you know that India is a land of agriculture and agriculture depends on rain, isn't it? So, rains are very important for us. 
if there are no rains the farmers cannot till the ground they cannot sow the seeds and there will be no yield if there will be no yield what will happen the people will suffer from hunger isn't it so rain is very important in an agricultural country like india so let's read the answer the rains are very important for the farmers if it does not rain for at the right time the farmers are unable to till their lands and are therefore unable to sow the crops this leads to great losses as they cannot produce and thus cannot earn therefore farmers are greatly dependent on rains now next value based questions first question rain or no rain a farmer wakes up early the industrious persevering and observant farmer is the backbone of indian society yet he does not get his due place in the social order elucidate now see if there is rain or no rain then too farmer wakes up early and he starts his daily routine isn't it so the indian farmer is the backbone of the country but still the farmer does not get a proper place in the society so you have to explain your opinion regarding this question your answer may vary the increase in industrialization has led to many favoring it over agriculture although both are essential the latter is at times given very attention this leads to farmers not getting their dues and incentives apart from this the negligent attitude of certain employees in the agricultural department also leads to such problems okay now next last question nature is a mother to all of us do we treat nature as a mother who nurtures us or do we consider nature as something to be subdued and conquered express your opinion now already you have learned the poem nature the gentlest mother right so what do you think is nature a mother to all of us yes earlier it was uh, believed that uh, nature is our mother and we must respect and look after it because nature nurtures us nature takes care of us so we should also take care of nature but nowadays if we see uh, the greed among the people has increased a lot and because of this we just keep on destroying the nature so nature suffers from us we don't take care of nature so i think uh, the nature has become something to be conquered so let's see the answer initially the belief was that nature is our mother and we must respect and look after it as she nurtures us nowadays this belief has almost disappeared as almost everyone is driven by greed and thus mother nature suffers at our hands so it can be said that we have created a situation wherein nature has become something that has to be conquered so i hope you have understood the lesson so you have to write this question answers in your notebook thank you